Okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier. We're going to have a nice uh, what's in the box segment today. Uh, now, as I'm taping this video, I'm not sure which of my three uh, YouTube channels. I know you like to see the cutting. Uh, I'm not sure which of my three channels you're going to be seeing this on. It could be on one pro wrestling and sports fan, which is kind of the uh, legacy channel of subscribe to Mike Messier YouTube channel. If you are a subscriber there and you've been wondering, gee whiz, Mike, where's all your uh, Mike's Instant Movie Reviews this summer? They're over on One Mike Messier. And uh, One Mike Messier also has my Life Rants now and some good ones. Um, my Ezra Miller Flash controversy video. If you like the angry side of me, you'd like that one. Uh, also, One Man in a Camera Films will now be hosting all of my uh, Mike's original films and the Messier Mantra program. So you might be saying, well, gee whiz, Mike, why the change? Why did you change on us? I just kind of realized that, you know, some folks, this, uh, for one pro wrestling and sports fan, if you're not a pro wrestling or sports fan, but you want to watch the uh, movie reviews, you know, why would you want to get all this wrestling stuff? And if you're a wrestling fan and you don't like movies, why would you want to get all the wrestling or the, the, the movie stuff? So I'm trying to help you. I'm inconveniencing myself to help you. Uh, speaking of inconvenience, this is kind of a very tough what's in the box segment. This came to me from West Palm Beach, Florida, uh, from Mark. I won't give his uh, full name out of respect, but uh, there you go. I'm not even sure what it is. Sometimes I order things, and uh, when I get around to it, I open it. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. You know, you like to see the, it looks like we're in the sports cards world, at least some type of card. I've had some issues lately because I've ordered cards and they've come to me um, you know, I think this, this, these are kind of packaged the way they were supposed to be. Uh, these are, I got a really, these were not expensive, so let's put it that way. And, um, I guess these are probably just not cards that people really care about, but for whatever reason, I was intrigued. So I'm kind of a marginal baseball fan. Like I'm, I'm a, kind of a playoffs and World Series type of guy. Uh, when I lived in New England for many years, that Red Sox, um, Yankees, 2004, that was a huge deal. I did go to the, um, I have been to uh, Wade Boggs, speaking of which, this card might be worth something, but I have a feeling that these cards, I got them so cheap. Uh, Wade Boggs, of course. Uh, legend. This is a looks like a 1990 card. Uh, Wade Boggs, there, folks. Um, in, so I'll, I'll put this card in a nice. I've got the hard things, whatever you call them, the soft and the hard uh, of the sleeves. Charlie Hogg, if I'm saying that properly. So yeah, you know, I did go to the Red Sox. Uh, Fenway Park once, and I did go to the New York uh, Yankees, uh, the new stadium, the new Yankees stadium once. Uh, in, fact, in fact, I think I saw the Yankees lose the final game of a, it was a playoff game and they lost and they were eliminated. I want to say that was 2013, perhaps 2014. Kenneth Ray Oberkfell. I was not planning to go through all these cards at this moment, but here we are, we're doing this, it's happening. Um, so if you have any memories or any thoughts on any of these players, you can leave a pleasant comment or not. You know, you can be passive and just look. Uh, but you know, it's, it's really out of obligation to you, the one person who's probably enjoying this video and enjoying these cards that I'm <laughs> doing this. You know, I've kind of tapped out. I did uh, try to see that Sound of Freedom movie tonight. Here's an anecdote. The movie started, I thought, at 
I made my reservation on my AMC movie app. Uh, but guess what? I was wrong. The movie actually started at 9.30. I got there fashionably late at 9.40, thinking that I had 10 more minutes of previews, but I was wrong. As I entered the theater, the movie had already started. I went to my assigned seat, and somebody was sitting in my chair. Okay, so uh, like the big bad uh, bear or the Goldilocks or whatever the fuck, someone's in my chair. The whole row was full of human beings. Uh, the movie had started, I saw a glimpse of it, a glimpse of the opening credits, like the opening sequence. Everyone was very attuned to the sound of freedom. And I just said, you know what, I'm not gonna be that asshole who comes into the movie theater, you know, 25 minutes late and kick some fuck out of the chair that I, you know, reserved for myself. I have this uh, membership, I'll just go into another auditorium. And this is where I made my mistake. I should have gone, I should have come clean to the young people working at this establishment. They were all probably teenage guys. And I probably said, hey, you know what? I fucked up. I went, I got here too late. Someone's in my chair. I don't want to disrupt. I don't want to cause a scene. Uh, can you just reassign, you know, my ticket here to, to Spider-Man? I want to see Spider-Man again. I should have just done that. But I really didn't want to bother these guys. And I really didn't want to bother myself, more importantly. I just, it was one conversation I did not want to have with a bunch of other human beings to explain myself. Because I know, I mean, my fear, I don't know anything about what could have happened. My fear was that these fucks would have said, oh yeah, well, we'll just go in there and kick the guy out of your chair. And then it's like a whole big goddamn production. And the other thing was, there was really nowhere else to sit. You know, in the theater, there was, the front two rows were were kind of open, but... It was pretty packed, and I don't want to be in a packed theater anyway, you know what I mean? So I just went into the Spider-Man. I even, when I went to Spider-Man, it was 9.45. I had, I had already seen the movie, so I had plenty of time to go get a refreshment. I, I, and I, I, I ordered the goddamn soda, like the do-it-yourself thing. The kid fucked up and charged me for two sodas. I had to get a goddamn refund. That took more time. I could have explained the situation then, but I didn't. I just went back into the Spider-Man. I had checked the app and there was no one else uh, had bought a ticket for this thing. But when I got in the theater, there was one individual in the auditorium, but he had his row, I had mine and everything was fine. And so about 20 minutes, I'm watching this Spider-Man movie that I'd already seen. I'm captivated uh, by it. Uh, and then basically, uh, ka-ching, ka ka-ching, ka-ching. Um, the movie stops playing. And I'm thinking, oh Christ, I know what's happened here. The the, the screen goes black, the fucking house lights come on, the, the screen enlarges. I'm like, what happened here is, um, they didn't have anyone on the record for fucking buying a ticket to this thing, this Spider-Man movie. Cause I never, I wasn't official. I was off the grid. And this other asshole kid was off the grid. He probably snuck in or whoever the fuck knows. And, um, Henceforth, they stopped the movie, and it was probably all very automatic. And then I'm like, oh Christ, do I go now explain myself? And 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 I've, I've just paid for this fucking uh, $7 soda, okay, which I have here as evidence, uh, you know? But it's like, yeah, I'm not going to, because I just didn't have it in me. Well, this is a good card, John, whatever the fuck. I didn't have it in me to have the conversation. I, I mean, I can explain it to you because you're so understanding, but I couldn't go to these fucking kids and uh, talk to them because I didn't want to. I just said, you know, I'd rather just leave. I get plenty of value from this fucking AMC subscription. I don't need to go and, and, and squeeze this thing and explain myself and defend myself and, and try to rationalize the situation. I'm just gonna fucking leave. So I fucking left. So I mean, that's what happens once in a while. You just say, okay, you know what? My bad, I got confused. I thought, you know, the nine fucking 15 movie was 9.30. Had I gone in there and gotten my seat, I probably would have been shitty anyway because there'd probably be too many people in the auditorium and I didn't want to be with all those goddamn assholes or nice people, whatever, or a mix. You know, I just, 
I don't know. I like to see movies. I like to see them when they first come out, but I don't want to be in the theater with a bunch of other people. And probably this movie's really good. And if one little fuck in there is talking or putting their fucking phone on or coughing, it's going to upset me. I remember this guy, Brady Anderson, Orioles. So that's my anecdote. So I, I don't know if you can relate to that. I mean, you've probably been through something like that, right? Um, but for me, it was just a situation where I had to put my own needs first. And, and my needs were to not talk to other people. My needs were to not uh, confront people, not to be confronted, not to be difficult. I just wanted to, 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 to leave. So I left. No, so it was kind of a wash of an evening and I could point to the heavens and I could blame everybody else. I could blame the person I was on the phone with when I got confused by the time. I could blame the person that took my chair, Bo Diaz. But I, I just blame myself, you know, my bad. I got to the theater late. I didn't want to talk to these young people and explain the, the simple mistake. So I paid the price and the price was severe. I, I missed out on the movie. I saw 20 minutes of Spider-Man, didn't see the whole thing. Uh, you know what I mean? My, my, my situation, take accountability, okay? So you just, you know, that's what happens in this world. You just have to take accountability. You have to say, I fucked up. I made an error and uh, that's my fault. And if you try to blame everybody else in the goddamn world, uh, you'll get fucked in the ass. So, you know, now you might get fucked in the ass anyway. Who knows? You might enjoy that. And that's okay. That's okay. So let's see what else we got. Uh, what else? I guess, you know, the whole tennis thing. Everything's like, oh, this happened. That happened. You're missing this. You're missing that. Uh, I, I don't know. There's just too much news and information and... You know, there was a nice time in reality when we had like uh, the VCR or even better was the DVD recorder. I think I'm the only fuck in the world that had one. And like I, could, I would actually uh, create DVDs recording television, okay? And for whatever reason, the DVD recorder never came into fashion. And then this fucking TiVo thing came around. Oh, Eddie Murray, I remember him for the Dodgers. He used to be an Oriole. He won a world championship with the Orioles. Very good hitter, Eddie. So I just, um, you know, I used to be very good with that DVD recorder. Like I, I was pretty good about taping stuff and not fucking it up. And then somewhere with this TiVo stuff, like first it was TiVo, which nobody really gives its props to. And then it was, now it's DVDR, whatever the fuck, you know, you know DVR, sorry. And then suddenly, um, the DVD recorder, which you would actually have a hard DVD and record things off TV, that was shot to shit. Like, that was no longer in vogue, okay? Uh, funky Divas. So, suddenly, um, there we are. And now, it seems, with all these goddamn streaming services, if you're not watching the thing right away, um, it's like you can't come into a show that started two hours ago, if it's a three hour show, and watch it from the beginning. Like you get fiddle fucked into watching it currently. And if you miss it, day of, you might be waiting a couple of weeks. Like this UFC, ESPN shit, I'm always missing things. So what I'm gonna do now, folks, to really uh, throw a bone in your ass, is I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to go live, okay? Now by the time you see this one, uh, this will be over. So if you're watching this now, you probably have missed the live uh, sequel to this, in which case you can go back. See all these, all these time tricks. Here's the thing that I hate is like these, see this, this is sticky now. And I want to stick these cards back into the little bag, but I don't want the gumshoe uh, from the fucking bag to get on these cards. And the other thing is, um, Am I even adept enough to get these cards into this bag from which they came? And, or do I have to divide the stack? You know, like my father uh, used to have a little piece of advice, which was, if you're eating a sandwich and the sandwich is too big, 
the, to put in your hands than cut the sandwich in half. He was a big uh, proponent of that activity. And uh, so that's what I'm trying to do with these cards. I'm, I'm taking the task, I mean, I'm actually going to do it in uh, sets of three. Uh, this is very exciting. So there we go. So I mean, I, I've, I've cut the sandwich into thirds and now we're all satisfied. Now we can get on with our evening. So I think I'm going to go live. Uh, so this will be on one pro wrestling and sports fan. See ya then.